Hi there everybody, I'm back today. Um, I'm gonna spray the uh, clear lacquer today. And I've just been uh, warming up the panel a little bit. Um, I'll, be, I'll be doing this panel uh, as well as the mirrors. So just heating it up a little bit to um, let's get it panel a bit warm. Today is not too bad. Uh, today is uh, 10 degrees outside. It's around 12 o'clock. So I should try and spray it now. <clears throat> um, I'll give it some coats, probably three coats of the lacquer. Um, this is the lacquer I'm using and it says two to one. So I think this is the actual, this is the lacquer, the cleaner, and this is the hardener. So you put two two portions, two bits of that and one of that basically. So say, um, I don't know, 200 mils of that to 100 mils of that, something like that. Uh, that is a fast, fast uh, um, hardener. <laughs> So I'm going to be preparing that in a minute and then getting ready to spray. Okay, so I'm just going to clean the panel a little bit. This is my uh, panel degreaser. Just to make sure um, just clean it one more time before because this container I'm working in also um, tends to allow, allow uh, water water to come through. So occasionally I get some uh, drops of water falling onto the um, bit of wood here. Supporting this up. Okay. Okay, so um, I've just noticed something that I'm not really too happy with um, and I don't know if it's very visible or not but this area here has some uh, some reaction or something it's not looking it's not looking really good it will it will show up on once I spray the clear lacquer and that won't look nice um, especially this area of the boot um, this part of the boot if it, if it was uh, here I mean this area would be covered by the number plate so I wouldn't be too bothered but this bit here I'm not liking too much um, paint has reacted a little bit over my gun the gun maybe didn't spray properly on this area I can see a little bit here as well maybe not very noticeable in the camera but or maybe it is I'm gonna have to um, rub it down a little bit smooth it out and then put a little bit more uh, of a um, bit more paint in it so I'm gonna leave this the boot for now, um, but I'm going to lacquer this uh, spoiler. This this is the bumper. It goes at the bottom of the bumper. I've also sprayed it, so I'm just uh, degreasing it. So I'm going to lacquer this and the mirrors today. 
but the boot will have to wait because I haven't got the paint with me all my paint is uh, all the paint well have it I've run out of that of this particular paint so I will need to uh, get some more Uh, make sure I degrease this panel properly. So I can spray it. Um, this I have to make sure it's nice and clean. And also uh, just the my mixing glass here make sure we clean it I mean you can just uh, dispose of this and uh, use new ones but it really depends how many you have So I won't be needing too much um, lacquer today because I'm only going to spray um, that spoiler and the mirrors. trying to get rid of uh, as much dust as I can it's a bit dusty in here it keeps getting dusty um, plus uh, I mean there's, there's lots of uh, holes in this uh, in this place allowing for dust to come in but I can only do as much as I can this I'm not gonna spray today so uh, have to wait for it to uh, till I get the paint um, oh, this is my other mirror here Again. and I've also got this bit that belongs to the back of the boot where the little lights go for the um, for the number plate so I got um, just uh, this rug here put a little bit more degreaser on that Roughly uh, clean the mirrors. That wasn't coming out so a little bit of water did the trick here just some plain water this is the bit where the uh, the exhaust comes out of here this curve here 
So these uh, glasses, uh, these plastic containers here, are good for measuring. So I'm gonna be, um, I'm not gonna put a lot, but like I said, so two parts of these, of the clear and then one part of, of the hardener. So today, I'm not gonna be putting that much. Maybe I might do 150. Um, and 75. So you can measure it. You can use, or you can actually use. Um, there's this bit here. So it shows you um, two parts to one, two to one, basically. You fill it up. So I might fill it up to here, two and and one. So I won't be needing that much. So Two to one. Okay, so just um, mix it. Yeah. And um, and that's it. That's pretty much ready to. Now you can use uh, one of them little filters. Just use one of them. Um, just in case there's any anything that's gone in here that could block the can or spray out into the panel. Don't really want that, so. Pour that in there through that little, it's like a micro filter, really. And then um, I'm just gonna put some thinners in there so that lacquer doesn't dry up, and then I can clean that glass. One more time. Um, so that is ready there. Definitely, uh, definitely need to wear a mask for that. Spraying that, it's, a bit, uh, it's, it's very, it smells really toxic, so definitely don't spray it without a mask. So, um, this, um, this gun, if you press on a little bit, you can just blow some of the dust. that may accumulate onto the uh, onto the your panel while you're while you are preparing your um, your lacquer so you can blow it first there's always going to be bits of dust and then you can start spraying um, obviously check the pattern of the spray Um, but I don't want to be spraying with my phone out because it's gonna get full of 
of the stuff. Um, but like I said, just blow out the tunnel slightly. Just avoiding getting rid of any dust that may have accumulated in there. And then, uh, and then you can start spraying the the actual the actual lacquer. So I will be spraying now, but I need to wear the mask, and I'm also gonna wear some of this because that um, stuff becomes really uh, dusty, really dusty. So it goes goes everywhere in your eyes and everywhere. So. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so far so good. Um, they are looking good. They're shining away. They're looking nice. So I'm happy with this. Uh, can't really see much, I guess, with this. Uh, with this light in here, but but it's looking nice. So I'm just gonna let it dry now, um, and then see if I needs uh, an extra coat or not. I have, I still have a little bit of lacquer left over. So the mirrors are finished, and they're looking. Very nice and shiny. Have to wait for them to dry now. Dry properly before I touch them and check them out. Check them out properly. But it's looking quite good. This is the other one. It's looking nice. Um, also, this this uh, bottom bumper spoiler obviously uh, it probably sometimes on the camera looks a little bit better than than it actually does it, it looks it looks nice to me um, but I can I can see little little things that are probably not visible in the camera but um, but that's okay it's all uh, it's, it's reasonable because uh, we can, if we have little blemishes or little bits of dust or something, we can polish this anyway. We can end up polishing it, um, like rub it down a little bit and then polish it. But it needs to dry properly. And um, my boot, well, I had to rub this down, this area here was very uh, strange the texture of it was looking very very weird so the texture was not not good on this these areas here and as i rubbed down went down a bit to the uh, primary area here uh, which was necessary to get rid of that texture uh, because otherwise, um, if I just lightly rub it, you could still see the the, um, the finish, which wasn't uh, wasn't very nice. I don't really want that finish on my on that area. Um, also, I had a bit here, and you can see how the, these little white dots come out when I rub that texture off. These little white dots come out. These are these little white dots are like basically this stuff coming out, and I don't really want that on this uh, on this area. I mean, if it was a bit here, there was some here, but if I'm gonna do this bit at the moment, I might as well do that. But if that had been only here, then I probably would have left it. Although. 
whether that would create future problems, I'm not sure. So, better avoid the uh, future problems, um, otherwise we end up just doing redoing the whole thing again and again and again. If you, we do it properly the first time round, then, uh, well, if we do it as good as we can the first time round, then it may last a bit longer. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I'm really liking the mirrors. I think they look great once I fit them. They also may need, uh, I can see a little bit of a, of a run from the, there's a little like a dot there from the lacquer. So that little dot, uh, I'll have to rub it off. I'll have to rub it down and then uh, polish it. But it's not the end of the world. Um, so anyway, thanks for catching up. Um, next, I'll have to buy some paint and do this area again. And then it will be ready for its uh, clear lacquer. So until the next time, thanks for watching.